Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Jason and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about portable power stations and solar panels. Of course you can go out and buy the brand name panel that comes with that power station, but you're going to be paying a premium price. There's plenty of solar panels on the market that offer the same performance, but they're way cheaper. I have my three favorite solar panels right here because they're compatible with almost every single power station on the market. I'm here to save you a little bit of money. Thanks for watching. Let's dive in deeper to these solar panels. So I thought it'd be useful to show you some of these connections that the solar panels will plug into. The most common connection is this eight millimeter barrel connector. This can be found on Jackery, Blue Eddy, Goal Zero, Go Labs, and a few other brands in the market. The next most common connector you'll see is one of these 5.5 millimeter barrel connectors or Anderson power pole. Now, if you have an EcoFlow power station, I don't have one to show you, but this is the connector they use. On the power station is a female XT60 connector. So if you're going to be charging that device, you'll need a connector that comes with a male XT60. Now, the last connector that I've seen is called an aviation connector. And so this is kind of rare on these power stations, but you can see something like this. So the first solar panel we're gonna talk about today is this Balder 120 watt folding solar panel. It puts out the most power out of all three panels in the video. It comes with an Anderson power pole connector and has two adapting cables included in the box. The first adapting cable is Anderson power pole to eight millimeter barrel connector. Most Goal Zero, Jackery, Blue Eddy, Go Labs will work with this connector. The second cable adapter that this panel comes with is an Anderson power pole to MC4 connections. If your setup requires MC4 connections, this panel will work great for you. The last way that you can adapt this solar panel is by using Anderson to XT60. By having one of those connections, you can connect this to the EcoFlow power stations and it'll work great for that as well. The second panel we're going to be talking about today is this RockPals RP082. This is a 100 watt folding solar panel and it comes with this really long cable and it terminates in Anderson power pole, just like the Balder. You can use this on an EcoFlow power station if you get the Anderson power pole to XT60 adapter. It has two cables, let's talk about these two. Now this adapter has Anderson power pole to these connections here. You can see it comes with two 5.5 millimeter barrel connectors, an eight millimeter barrel connector, and an aviation connection. So this is compatible with almost every single power station on the market. The only thing that this does not come with is MC4 adapters. The second adapter that this comes with is a parallel adapter, which allows you to connect two of these solar panels into one connection and get double the output. So what happens is you plug one into here, plug one into here, and then you get 200 watts out of your power here. So you can plug this into your power station if it supports 200 watts, and you can get double the power. A lot of solar panels don't come with these adapters, so it's pretty neat that this comes with that right out of the box. Okay, so the third and final panel that we're talking about today is this RockPals SP003. This is also a 100 watt folding solar panel, but it comes in a little bit cheaper than the other one right there. So if you want to have a cheaper panel, you can usually find this one a few bucks cheaper. The other benefit is this usually puts out three to five watts more. This is a little bit bigger of a panel. That one's more compact. That's why it puts out more power. Now the main cable that comes with this panel is not quite as long, but it does terminate in MC4 connections. So if your setup requires MC4 connections, that's great for this panel. Now, if your power station ends in 5.5 millimeter jack, then you also are covered with this panel because it has a cable that comes with MC4 to 5.5 millimeter. And let's just throw it out there. You can use any barrel connector with this solar panel because it comes with all these adapters, eight millimeter all the way down to two millimeters. So if yours does have a barrel connector, you're most likely gonna be able to use it off this solar panel. So the only downside of this panel is that it does not come with Anderson power pole and it does not have a way to charge EcoFlow power stations using an XT60 connector. Now let's say you already have a solar panel and you're looking to adapt it to another type of connection. There are plenty of adapters that are available. You can have MC4 parallel adapters that go from MC4 two inputs to one. You can get MC4 to Anderson or you can do Anderson to eight millimeters. So if you look online, there are a ton of adapters that are available. I just wanna show you some of these options that I already have. The most common one that I use is this Anderson to eight millimeter, so I can charge my Blue Eddy EB70. 
Okay, well, hopefully you guys found that information helpful. I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys have any questions about any of the content that I talked about, the solar panels or any other power station, go ahead and throw a comment below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.